Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to give a short lecture about need for patents in intellectual property rights. First of all, what is meant by a patent? A patent is a form of intellectual property. It consists of a set of exclusive rights granted by a sovereign state to an inventor or the assignee for a limited period of time in exchange for the public disclosure of an invention. The exclusive right granted to a patentee in most countries is the right to prevent others from making, using, selling or distributing the patented invention without permission. In modern usage, the term patent usually refers to the right granted to anyone who invents any new, useful and non-obvious process, machine, ordeal of manufacture or composition of matter. Examples of particular species of patents for inventions include biological patents, business method patents, chemical patents and software patents. A patent is not a right to practice or use the invention. Rather, a patent provides the right to exclude others from making, using, selling, offering for sale or importing the patented invention for the time of the patent, which is usually 20 years from the filing date. Like any other property, it may be sold, licensed, mortgaged, assigned or transferred, given away or simply abandoned. We hope that the introduction to patents is sufficient. Let's move to the its needs. There are four primary incentives embodied in the patent system to invent in the first place, to disclose the invention once made, to invest the sums necessary to experiment, produce and market the invention, and to design around and improve upon earlier patents. Patents provide incentives for economically efficient research and development, that's R&D. A study conducted annually by the IPTS shows that the 2000 largest global companies invested more than 430 billion euros in 2008 in their R&D department, departments. If the investments can be considered as inputs of R&D, then real products and patents are the outputs. Based on this, a project named Corporate Invention Board had measured and analyzed the patent portfolios to produce an original picture of the technological profiles. Supporters of the patents argue that without patent production, R&D spending would be significantly less or eliminated altogether, limiting the possibility of technological advances or breakthroughs. Corporations would be much more conservative about the R&D investments they made, as third parties would be free to exploit any developments. The second justification is closely related to the basic ideas underlying traditional property rights. In accordance with the original definition of the term patent, Patents facilitate and encourage disclosure of innovations into the public domain for the common good. If inventors didn't have the legal protection of patents, in many cases, they would prefer or tend to keep their innovations secret. Awarding patents generally makes the details of new technology publicly available for exploitation by anyone after the patent expires or for further improvement by other inventors. Furthermore, when a patent's time has expired, the public record ensures that the patentee's invention is not lost to humanity. In many industries, especially those with high fixed costs and either low marginal costs or low reverse engineering costs, computer processes and pharmaceuticals, for example, once an invention exists, the cost of commercialization, that is for our testing, tooling up a factory, developing a market, etc., it's far more than the initial conception cost. Unless there is some way to prevent copies from competing at the marginal cost of production, companies will not make the production investment. One effect of modern patent usage is that a small-time investor can use the exclusive right status to become a licensor. This allows the inventor to accumulate capital from licensing the invention and may allow innovation to occur because he or she may choose not to manage a manufacturing buildup for the invention. Thus, the inventor's time and energy can be spent on pure innovation, allowing others to concentrate on manufacturability. Another effect of human modern patent usage is to cause competitors to design around each other's patents. This may promote healthy competition among manufacturers, resulting in gradual improvements of the technology base. This may help augment national economies and confer better living standards to the citizens. Uh, thus, 1970 Indian Patent Act allowed the Indian pharmaceutical industry to develop local technological capabilities in their industries. This act transformed India from a bulk importer of pharmaceutical drugs to a leading exporter. This rapid evolution of Indian pharmaceutical industry since the mid-1970s highlights the fact that the design of the patent act was instrumental in building local capabilities, even in a poor country like India. 
these are all the needs associated with the patents and its needs even there are lot of needs in case of patents there are lot of criticisms are always accumulating in case of, in case of patents let us see how to overcome those uh, criticisms according to james besson elimination of a patent system would increase the incentives for innovation in all industries except chemistry and pharmaceuticals by eliminating start up litigation costs alternatives have been discussed to address the issue of financial incentivization to replace patents mostly they are related to some form of direct or indirect government funding one example is the idea of providing prize money as a substitute for the lost profits associated with the abstaining from the monopoly given by the patent another approach is to remove the issue of financial development from the private sphere altogether and to cover the costs with direct government funding trade secrets are an existing alternative to the patent system given their popularity it has been proposed to strengthen non disclosure and employment law pertaining to trade secrets these are all the common needs in case of patents we hope that the information that we have provided may be useful for you and that's the end of the video thank you